Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis, guys. Uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. Uh, the channel is growing very nicely. It's Tuesday today. Uh, it's Tuesday, so this weekend it will be like a Christmas. So what's happening now is uh, we are on a uh, US oil. Uh, I hope you can see. Uh, at the background there, uh, it's YTI, uh, which means it's actually West Texas oil, but we just call it a uh, US oil, right? So uh, let me just use daily time frame first so that you can see the bigger picture. Uh, let's see that. So on a bigger picture, guys, firstly, when we check uh, our, our, our uptrend, uh, sorry, if we check at uh, the trend, the market is moving smoothly on this a uh, very very smooth uh, uptrend it's not like straight but it's bit like this so even if it's not like that uh, that much but we see that we are on an uptrend that's why uh, firstly if you want to enjoy trading firstly identify the trend you can see we have our support area here we have our support area here. So uh, doing different analysis, guys, it's not like you should trade different things, but it's better uh, to try to analyze different pairs so that you understand that your strategy is really, really uh, working on different things because I'm just using the same trend line strategy on different uh, instruments, you see. So here we see that the market is actually coming back here the market came back here just similar to this area and now the market pushed up then after the market pushed up we see the market consolidating around that area but when we go to a bit smaller time frame those were bigger moves then it seems like we have a resistance around that area maybe the market is going to do it the market is going to go down and we saw the market going down from and reach this area uh, around this area which i don't see any support area which uh, means maybe the market is going to create something like this you see what i've created there i think the market might create something like that before we see another push up maybe or maybe pushing lower or maybe the market might even break our support area and push to the lowest side i hope you can see that guys so let's use a bit smaller time frame like what uh, like four hour time frame and see what's really happening on a four hour time frame let's see that so on a four hour time frame i hope you can see that so on this four hour time frame we see that uh, we have the resistant area around this area do you see the resistant points here the market is rejecting from those area every time the market reaches that area the market pushed lower even if it did not go crazy but we see that the market was just going lower and lower so what can we do from this area there is nothing much only to sell when the market is reaching this area then or maybe you can buy when the market reaches your support area here you see that or maybe if you want to buy you can just wait for the market to reach this area or maybe wait for the market to break the resistance and retest maybe the market will retest then you can have a nice buy you see but besides that uh, you can just wait for the market to reach this area you can sell wait for this area then you can sell wait for this area then you can sell and unless as uh, sorry as long as the market is still respecting this resistant we going to sell from those areas i'm not going to trade oil guys but for those who trade oil they can sell from that area when i say we can sell i'm just talking from the analysis a point so it's not like go and run do yourself no you can do that if you trade oil because you should know things that you trade guys we don't just trade everything at the moment i'm just trading us oil uh, sorry us 30 and nasdaq but mostly you a uh, uh, nasdaq 100 nasdaq 100 and us 30 mostly nasdaq 100 you see i hope you understand that so don't trade all these things because they will just confuse you sometimes you lose track of what's really happening in the market just because you just trade so many things so on us oil i think maybe you so uh, you have an idea what to do now wait for the market to reach the resistant from this resistant if the market is respecting the resistant then you can sell 
but if the market is not re respecting that we might see the market breaking uh, this resistant and then from there we can buy above the resistant line maybe you can even wait for a retest which is a very good thing once you wait for a retest, then the market might still push up. Remember, even if the market is acting like it's rejecting around that area, remember, we are very, very, very close to our very strong support area, which means mostly the market, when it are around this area, the market will just shoot higher. Even if maybe it's car, it will just respect this area, but most of the time the market will just shoot higher around these areas. I hope you understand that. So let's move to the next one, which is gold. Uh, we don't have to make our videos very long, guys. As long as you have then uh, you have an idea, then you will understand what's really happening. If you want to be in the group, let me know. My contacts are on my description. It's only hundred dollars to join my signals and now the system it's 50 dollars on special uh, the signal indicator it's on special at the moment so here we are on gold guys gold it's now on a downtrend you can see that uh, what's happening is firstly we have to identify the trend we see that the market it's heading lower you can see that the market is pushing lower and if maybe we can try to draw you can see that the market is actually giving us structure some structure like that that's why we say the market is doing what it's on a downtrend the market is on a downtrend but that that, that downtrend is no longer valid why because we see that the market just broke out of that you see this the market just broke out of that and this is a retest then it means the market can just shoot higher the market can just shoot higher uh, the market can just shoot higher from this area you see so i don't so it means we are out of that uh, a bearish momentum so let me just try to zoom a little bit you can see something here I hope you can see that. I hope you can see that. So you can see that the market was respecting this area. Breakout came back again. Actually, from this area, we're supposed to buy a uh, gold. Uh, unfortunately, I'm doing the analysis, so I can't send the, uh, the the signal while I'm doing that. Or maybe let me just send this to my pro uh, group uh, because I will just see buy gold and they understand what's really happening. You see, so let me just say buy gold, uh, gold. Yeah, so from there, they will understand what's really happening. Why? Because we are, this is a very nice example, uh, because this is just a nice retest. Then the market might start to create a different uh, trend. Now, because the market was downtrendy, now the market might create another trend which we call what an uptrend i hope you understand that so let me just remove this because i i done this thing for you so that you can see or maybe the market might the market might maybe if maybe the market is playing around the market might come back and continue with this downtrend it's possible because there are so many things that are happening in the market uh, especially this month this year. so don't just say the market might push up. There's possibility that the market might also move lower. But when the market goes lower, you should know where to sell and stuff like that. If you need to sell, for example, it means you will wait for the market to reach these areas before you say you go in to sell. Or else, then you don't have to sell around this area. Unless if maybe you do the analysis in a different way. But this area, it was like straightforward. You can see even if you draw a horizontal line here, you can see that you can say, oh, on on your analysis, you maybe you draw the horizontal line. The breakout happened. The retest came back again. So these things, guys, it doesn't matter whether you use like horizontal or whatever. Mostly these things, they will just uh, give you the same uh, the same. Uh, direction most of, of the time there are so many different uh, different strategies in the market but when you check the the outcome of whatever that you will be doing most likely is the just the same things just different times some they use the, the head and shoulders so many things uh, but when you check 
you will find that okay the market is now giving you similar like the percentage the difference is not that much you see so the best thing is just choose the strategy which uh, it's quite easy for you to understand and it's not complicated you see so uh, on gold i think we're done so let's go straight to us 30. so we have us 30 here let me just use a daily time frame before we go to a bit smaller time frame so on a daily time frame we can see that the market the market is still on an uptrend do you see that the market is still on an uptrend let me remove this the market is still on an uptrend you can see that this is our support area then the market is like respecting this area every time when the market reaches there but now the market came back here but did not reach our our support area but we see the market is trying to push up why is that uh, let, let's check on a bit smaller time frame because we can see that we can see everything on, on on a bigger time frame or on a smaller time frame. So we need to change these time frames uh, so that we can get a bigger view. But I'm not surprised with this because even here, you see, even these areas, the market did not reach our support area, but the market still pushed up from those areas so it means it's not something which is surprising sometimes the market uh, while people that were still waiting for the market to reach this area the market might take that your time maybe there's positivity there's positivity in the market that is happening at the moment and which maybe we don't know about you see so let's uh, go on that for our sometimes there might be so many things you can't keep track of everything that is going on in the market so the sometimes the best thing is to stick to your analysis because the information that you're going to get from the news it's, it's too much it's too much for your head to 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 to, to like actually to process everything at once is going to be your head is going to explode you see so here we are on us 30 what do we see we see that the market was selling off very 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 aggressively but i think we need to change that and see uh, see this uh, in a different way because before what i was doing before is i was throwing something i drawn something like this uh, which made sense because the market was respecting that area and then the market came back respect the same area and after the market was broken so i think that must be changed and i hope maybe you will understand this so i think i we focused very long on 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 this old old uh, old move or old trend so i think we were just supposed to change that quicker that was valid obviously that was valid but i think i was supposed to change that quicker and move into this that was going to give me the same structure but in a different way in like like upside down because i wasn't going to be fooled by this move if i do this because why if you see this is previous move this is previous move this is from here it's current it's current move i hope you understand that so it means i was supposed to look at this one going up and down then we have a breakout retest then the market is going down i hope you see that and i did not see this before but now i see that okay i focused on the older trend which was just doing something like that so if i focus on the current one you can see that the market broke here retested i wasn't even going to buy then because i knew that i was going to know that this is it's a retest then the market is just selling off so sometimes we do those mistakes guys but the mistake is not like uh, very 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 bad because it also showed us uh, some nice information but not complete information but now at the moment we see that the market is recovering why is that because i don't really see any support area or at this area yes sometimes you want the market won't the market doesn't turn just because of the support or resistance the market can turn anywhere so it means when the market is doing that it's a very good thing because it's giving you another structure that you can work on we can miss this type of moves quickly uh, easily but mostly you won't miss this type of moves uh, maybe when you use like just a signal indicator which you can buy from me also but 
if you do the analysis like this sometimes move like this you want to know that the market might turn from this you see because this was oversold actually but the system was going to tell you that you know what you can buy from those areas yeah if you have the system it means you maybe you were eating from this uh, area or maybe i don't know maybe you missed that so but what's really happening the, at the moment i think the market is still going to give us some nice structure i think the market is still going to push up uh, the sell off has been here for some time now uh, this is for our time frame you can see we have so many for our candlesticks uh, which were just going down and down and down so but if the market will keep going lower uh, i'm expecting the market I'm expecting the market uh, to reach this area as our support before we see another push. But it seems like the market is creating another push up. But maybe the market is going to create something like this. It's also possible. Don't just fall for this type of moves because we see that we don't have a rejection from this area. This is the first reje rejection. Maybe the market is going to create something like this and keep going lower and lower. So don't just fall for that. Wait for the nice structure to happen before you jump in the market. Guys, we don't really like to lose money. So and if you don't want to lose money, please follow your strategy. Sometimes you might take even three to four days without trading. It's fine as long as you don't lose money. I hope you understand that. So let's go straight to NASDAQ. This is the last one yeah this is nasdaq guys this is nasdaq so nasdaq is also pushing up so why on nasdaq i think uh, this is quite simple uh, because i want to show you something uh, let's go to a daily time frame so on a daily time frame guys we can see that the market is on a very very nice uptrend you see that obviously everyone can see everyone can see this is a very 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 steep uh, uh, uptrend but from this area it seems like every every pair that we we did here they did not reach the support area before they turn uh, they that they, they before they they decide to bounce back but maybe there's something happening in the market with that which we don't know but what we know is we just need to do our uh, technical analysis and see that if we and see if maybe that is helping so around these areas guys you can see that we have uh, we have a support area why this is a daily time frame so we have a support from that area and even from this area we have a support do you see that i hope you see that so from this areas this are this are see this are our support area and this is a resistant area and the market was just moving be, uh, between that but the market did not reach this support area so why is that oh uh, no don't uh, crack your head guys we don't know why is that the market knows but this one is quite easy because we have a support area from this area so let's go to a bit smaller time frame and see what uh, it's happening so on a bit smaller time frame we see that uh, we see that uh, the market was just to, on my side i can just say the market was just consolidating between uh, between this resistant and support area so let me remove those i think i don't see nicely with these things on my chart you see that uh, let me remove this do you see that uh, actually we had this this one is quite clear <laughs> sorry even this one is quite clear but the market was uh, threatening this uh, support it was like trying to break this support if it broke it means we're going to see the market reaching this area but the market is back now i think the market might still push higher up to these areas the best thing is try to be safe out there don't just risk much there is always tomorrow guys it's december and it's those weeks with uh, enough uh, holidays so the market won't just move the way we want to see so don't expect the market to do exactly what you want. Just know that the market will always do whatever that it wants to do. So we have something like this here. So the market might push up. We don't know about that. But what I see is since we, since we have this uh, downtrend, no, this selling off, I can't say it's the downtrend. I think we have something like this here. 
which might be give us something like this until going up to this area before pushing up do you see that but we don't we won't just look at that only uh, we need to go to a bit smaller time frame and see what's really happening uh, before we can even say that but at the moment i just think the market might uh, push up i hope you see that i i think the market might push up from this area as this area is our support look at first what happened the market came back retest here then the market pushed up then here we have like one two three four and this is for our time frame and the market is bouncing from that area so this might be a very nice or very strong support area so let's just go to a bit smaller time frame and try to see what's what's happening to our time frame so guys where i am at the moment i'm at home and the network is very very bad uh, as we have this unstoppable load shadings even if maybe the power sometimes the power is on it's on for the whole day but the network is not here so we struggling with the network so i hope some they won't understand because they don't experience this type of stuff so i'm on a two hour time frame here you can see that that is also very 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 clear so we see that the market is bouncing back but this bullish momentum you can see they are not that aggressive like this candlesticks what do they tell you uh, they tell you that maybe there is still enough bearish momentum in the market when you see this choppy this choppy bullish momentum you see that actually there might be some sort of a uh, bearish momentum that's going on or maybe which might happen very soon so it means don't just jump in the market and just wait for a great structure to happen but i think that it's a support you can still buy from that area since i also sent a signal yesterday i think if they took that they are in that small profit or doesn't matter as long as they're in profit so I think I'm done for today. I don't want to make this video very crazy long. Uh, thanks, guys. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Like, share with your friends. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. Please don't forget to invite your friends uh, so that we can reach uh, 20, sorry, 2,000 uh, subscribers uh, before the end of the year. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for your time. Bye.